Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video lecture we are going to discuss parity weight. So guys, in this lecture we will discuss what is a parity weight, what are the different types of parity and how this bit is used and for what this bit is used. So guys, for the full lecture, all of you stay tuned. Karen Jeffrey Live. <clears throat> so guys, the first thing which comes is what is a parity bit? Okay. Now guys, you all are IT students who are watching this lecture, okay? Now what is a parity bit? So parity bit is an additional bit which we attach with our data which is being transmitted over a network, okay? Which we attach with our data which is being transmitted over a network to ensure that the data which is received is correct or not. Okay, so what is a parity bit? It is the additional bit which we attach with our data while we transmit it so that the receiver of that data can be sure whether the data which he received is correct or not. Okay, now to explain it, let us take a example. Suppose guys, we are transmitting four bits over a network. One, two, three, four. Okay, to this we attach an additional bit, we call it as parity bit, we call it as parity bit, okay. So then all this data along with this parity bit is sent, okay. So this is the sender and this is the receiver, okay. So when the receiver gets this data, depending upon the parity bit, okay, so he can check whether this data is right or this data is wrong means whether the data which he received is the same data which is being sent or in on the way there something happened and the data changed okay so how do we do it so we do it with the help of parity bit okay now to explain it further so we will discuss the types of parity and how this thing works so for now what is a parity bit it is an additional bit which we attach with our data to ensure the data which is received by the receiver is the same as the data which is sent by the sender so guys then the next thing which comes is types of parity so parity are of two types one is called as even parity and other one is called as odd parity so what is event parity in even parity we make sure that the total number of ones which are being transmitted along with the parity bit have even number have an even number for example this is the data which is we are transmitting one one zero zero okay now here is the parity bit and if we are going for even parity so count the number of ones here one two so 2 is an even number. So what we will do to the parity bit, we will make it 0. Now count the total number of 1s in this data. So the total number of 1s is 2. So what is this? This is even parity. Okay. And with the, another example, suppose this is the data which is we are transmitting. 1, 0, 0. Now guys, count the total number of 1s here. The total number of 1s here is... 1. So what is 1? 1 is an odd number. So then what we will do? We will make our parity bit as 1 so that the total number of 1's here, 1, 2, they become even. They become even. So what is an even parity? The total number of 1's along with the parity bit should be even. Should be even. So for example, if we are transmitting this 1, 1, 1, zero okay so then again what will be our parity bit count the total number of ones two three so what is this this is odd number so what will be our parity bit our parity bit will be one now count the total number of ones one two three four so total number of ones are even so what is this thing called as we call it as even parity okay and similarly we have odd parity so what happens in the odd parity? We have to make the total number of ones as odd. Okay. Suppose this is the data which is being transmitted. So then what should be our parity bit? So that the total number of ones become odd. So how many ones are there? One, two. So what should be the parity bit? One. So the total number of ones here is odd. So what do we call it? We call it as odd parity. Okay. So suppose another example. 
if this is the data which is being transmitted so then what should be our parity bit our parity bit should be zero now count the total number of ones one so again it is an odd parity okay now guys i hope you understand so what is a parity bit it is an additional bit which we attach with our data to ensure that the data received is correct or not so what are the types of parity we have two types even parity and odd parity now guys coming to the point how parity works okay now what happens is as i told you in the beginning so parities are used in the data transmission okay so we have a sender and we have a receiver okay so both sender and receiver will agree on the type of parity they are using okay suppose both sender and receiver they agree on even parity they agree on even parity means the sender says i will send whatever data i will send the total number of ones in that data will be even the total number of ones in that data will be a even number okay so when receiver gets that data he will count the total number of ones if the total number of ones are even so then he will keep that data because they agreed on a even number he will he will be satisfied that the data which i received is correct if the total number of ones what he received is not even then he will reject the data and he will tell the sender to retransmit that data for example now both sender and receiver they agreed on even parity they agreed on even parity so this is the data which was being sent so what sender did so 100 they agreed on even parity he made it total number of ones as even so this data received by the receiver again 1001 so what he gets he counts the number of ones 1 and 2 so the number is even so the data which he received is correct the data which he received is correct now suppose now suppose again the sender is sending the data okay again the sender is sending the data so in the transmission channel some noise came some noise came and it changed the data for example so it changed this 0 to 1 so what is your data became 1 1 0 0 because of noise this bit changed okay so what receiver received receiver received same data that is 1 1 0 0 1 so receiver again will count the total number of ones 1 2 3 now 3 is an odd number 3 is an odd number so but receiver knows the number of ones which i receive should be even okay so he knows something happened on the way and this the total number of ones in this data is not accurate is not even so it will reject this data and it will tell the sender to retransmit the data it will tell the sender to retransmit the data again sender sends this data 1001 and this time suppose nothing happens and this is what receiver receives okay so he will count the total number of ones 1 one and 2 even so he will keep the data okay so this is how parity works basically it is a error detection code okay so it are they it is used to whether some error has happened in the transmitter transmission and we can detect it so guys the parity bit is also not 100% full proof sometimes a noise can happen it can change the two bits okay so it can change two bits for example it can change two bits and it can make again the number as even okay so it is not full proof but still it can reduce the number of errors to quite some extent okay now this was even now similarly we have odd okay same it also works like even so what happens here is it? now the sender and receiver they agree on odd parity they agree on odd parity means whatever the sender is sending when the receiver receives that data the total number of ones in that data should be odd number for example if sender is sending this 1100 so what should be the parity bit 1100 it will be 1 so that the total number of ones in this data are odd so when the receiver receives 11001 so he will count 1 2 3 so odd number of ones so this data is 
accepted if this data is accepted and similarly while this data was being transmitted and some noise came this became zero due to some noise so then he received the total number of ones one and two so that is an that is an even number but what they have agreed they have agreed on an odd parity okay so what the receiver will do it will reject this data and it will ask the sender to retransmit the data so this is how parity is used okay so it is not 100% foolproof still the errors can happen because if instead of it will change from 1 1 to 0 it can change in more than one bits together okay so but still it reduces the chances of error to quite some extent so guys i hope i made myself made myself clear and i hope you understand what is parity what are the types and how it is used so guys that's all for today so if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more videos related to the different topics of it and much more so all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned